Okay, so I'm just going to go for this. This is my first ever vlog. Um, not something I'd normally do, but I'm doing it today because something rather special has arrived in the post. Don't know if you can see there, it says Lumos. Lumos is the first company I've ever backed on Kickstarter, and it's the first company I know on Kickstarter that I've backed that has actually come up with a product. So I thought, let's have a look at it. Let's do an unboxing. And let's see what we've got, because I'm not too sure how many of these they're going to be in the UK right now. It's taken quite a long time for Lumos to come through with it, but their communication has been fantastic. Learned all about the developments to the product. So let's see what we've got. So, stand up. Still got all my fingers. This is going well. Yellow box. Lumos Kickstart. There you go. The next generation of bike helmet with lights, hard brake, and turn signals integrated beautifully into the helmet, it says here. Oh look, what are you for? What's your job? There we go. We got the box. We got the next generation bike helmet. So in our community, might just do that. We've got a wireless handlebar remote. And got the helmet itself. And what looks like a bag for the helmet. Put that down there. Looks, looks, looks alright, doesn't it? Looks good. And then yep, just a bag to keep it in, or maybe put over the top. That could be that could be a good look. Maybe. Maybe? Maybe not. Put that there. Okay, straps. Pretty traditional. Looks like there's some pretty good foam covering in there. Usual adjustment there. And lights on the back there. Wonder how we charge it up. In here we have the wireless remote. Rubber bands, buttons as well to chart to um, control USB. Another USB. That might be the extra bits that I ordered: an extra recharger and a second set of buttons. And then these buttons here with a little grip to go the other side of the bars. I think. That's come. Oh, hello. Cool. The only question we have to ask is I wonder how you turn the helmet on. Oh, I say, look at this. Look at this. Look at that. See how we pair stuff up. I'm just hoping, got a big head, that it's going to fit. Because that's way too small. Oh, there's lots of adjustment here, look. I hope, I hope, I hope. There we go. What can you see? I can't see a thing. I'm hoping you can see stuff. Two beeps. And I should be lit up. And what the back's like. I think that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Now I better read some instructions. See how you pair the indicators with it. So let's have a look at the lights. So we've got continuous, we've got short flash, front and back, we've got rapid flash, front and back. Now look at that, we get an audible beep and we get a signal on both sides or on that side there. Or right, as I should be calling it, I guess. 
I'll have to look on Android and see if that um, app is there yet. In fact, where's my phone? Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Where is my phone? No app for Android yet. I wonder what's in the Apple Store. The Wars helmet. Battery power. Battery power on your home screen. Beeping setting. Some instructions. Referral program. Okay, I like the battery power idea, if nothing else. So I'm looking forward to the Android one then, seeing as I don't have an iPhone. I know. How do I live? Press down on the power button until the breathing lights come on. Uh -huh. What are breathing lights? Paired, all set. 76% battery in the helmet. It says trigger me. I wonder if I could find you. Oh, there you go. And spookily, now we're beeping. 76% there as well. So I've just been looking at the box and I've noticed something else on the side here. Look, we've got a brief description of all the facilities and the capabilities. And it does say in very small writing that it's hard for me to see. It says, convenient charging, recharge both the helmet and the remote with the included USB cable. On a full charge, the lights will last seven hours in flash mode. Seven hours. And three and a half hours in solid mode. Okay. And recharge takes approximately two hours. It also says it's water resistant. You can take it out with you and stay safe come rain or shine. It talks about the app. It talks about the rear, the rear warning stuff, which is in beta at the moment, or beta. And um, therefore, I'm not going to use that for a bit. We'll have to really see how that goes. It talks about intuitive controls. It talks about bright lights. And it talks about being predictable with left and right turn signals with the remote on your handlebar and a bit of a story about the company. But the seven hours, that's really interesting. Let's hope that's, let's hope that's a proper seven hours in flashing mode. So, while I've been exiting away, I've been charging this little fella up and just so you can see on the USB charge, the little light there is now green, it was red before. And that is an interesting example of what I was about to talk about. There's a small magnet that seems to hold this in place. And it has to be the right way up. There's a notch to show you the right way up. But you see the magnet could probably do with being just a little bit stronger. It seems to work okay on here. Like that. See we're charging up. But the same thing also goes for the remote. Let's just drop that in there. There is a magnetic pull to it and it's on and you can tell it's on because because we've got a red light there. That means it's charging. That'll go off when it's fully charged. Um, but there you go, you see? You can't, it won't, it'll just hold the weight there and charge up. Maybe a little bit stronger ma magnet would have been good. But anyway, overall, I think for a new product into the market, this is a fantastic thing. I can't wait to get out on the bike and see what the reaction is on the road. So, there you go, a quick review on December 1st, 2016, of my Lumos helmet that's just come through from the Kickstarter campaign. It's looking good. I hope you enjoyed the review. hope it was informative. Um, if you want to go to their website, I'll put a link to the website in the, um, in the bottom of the comments, uh, so you can go and have a few more look at a few more details and maybe even order one yourself. Um, thanks very much for watching. hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did subscribe, I get the odd video up then from time to time, either from a drone or from a bike. So you might find something there that interests you. Uh, if not, thanks for watching anyway.